A Tragedy in One Act by Victor Marsh and Walter Shepard, 1904. The moon shone through the grime on the window pane, athwart the dust that gathered in the room. The day was over, twilight on the wane, and all seemed wrapped in dark dismal gloom, except within the gaslight's flickery flare, which weakly shed its sickly radiance down upon a somewhat strange, fantastic chair, where sat a beardless youth whose eyes so brown seemed starting from their sockets as in fear. He clutched the chair with hands, both white and bony, with head thrown back with throat exposed and bare. His whole frame shook and quaked with agony. Horror is this some dreaded den of torture where suffer those who sin against the state? Is this some youthful and rebellious courtier who now in pain his crimes must expiate? I see the dreaded operator near, as if to seize his victim in his wrath, to glory in the agony of fear that flecks the victim's lips and chin with froth. I see the beads of sweat upon the brow, the mute appeal within that poor youth's eyes, as his tormentor pounces on him now, for his escape no earthly chance now lies. I see the glint of steel, a bright blade flash, oh, horrid sight that makes my marrow freeze. But stop, from out the chair he makes a dash, pays tuppence for his first shave. Next, please.